My name is Gershwell Brooks. I'm the head of Mandela Day here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Hi, Gershwell. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm good. I hope you're good as well. I'm well, thank you. So um, next month is 80 cyclists, if I'm correct, Riding for Hope 2023, which is quite exciting. Um, I know riding is synonymous to freedom, and that Mandela advocated for freedom throughout his life. Can you tell us... Um, about the significance of this ride and how does it aim to honor his legacy since this is the 10th year um, of, of his passing? Indeed, it is uh, 10 years since his passing and uh, this Mandela Day uh, would have marked his 105th um, birthday, but unfortunately we have him, uh, we don't have him with us any longer. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the cycling element, I think it is a beautiful analogy for freedom. Um, there's nothing but yourself in two wheels fresh air and open um, countryside, so to speak. Um, so I think it is a beautifully, a beautiful allegory rather for um, freedom. Um, but I think that Nelson Mandela represents a lot more than that. And I think that's the legacy that we're trying to uh, continue here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation, as well as uh, with our partners at Ride for Hope, in that the focus ultimately is on giving back to communities and ensuring um, that uh, very hard fought rights that we have won uh, 29 years ago at the attainment of democracy um, are carried forward. And one of the great opportunities through Ride for Hope is, of course, uh, the work that is then done and, and long term and sustainable work that is done within communities along the route uh, from uh, Velikazi Street in Soweto all the way through to KwaZulu Natal and Hawick at the campus. Yeah. Mm. And um, I, I do know that there's a there's a it's it's a statue um, in how I, I don't know if I'm using the right word uh, is that where it's going to end and what are some of the, the schools that are going to be beneficiaries from the ride? So there's multiple stops along the way, um, as you understand, um, it's 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 quite a number of kilometers to ride. I think mm. that one of the longest stretches is about 176 kilometers. And um, in each one of those particular communities, different sites have been identified, whether they be schools, whether they be other um, areas of, of, of uh, interest in terms of the community. And, um, you know, all kinds of amazing things will be done there all the way through from uh, a specific focus on education. Um, and, and, you know, uh, from, from an educational perspective, all the way through to, you know, some other basic needs and ensuring uh, that we are able to deal with uh, two of the major uh, areas that the board here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation in particular is concerned by, and that is poverty and inequality and dealing with those particular issues. So for me, it's, it's really the importance is around what we are doing within those particular communities and how it is that if we come back, um, say, 10 years from now, five years from now, how we have improved on, on the lives of those particular people, all the way from technological um, donations through to skills development, all of those things are extremely important to ensure that people are able to 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 shake off the shackles of uh, economic inequality and poverty. So that is the reason behind the theme of um, solidarity, climate and food. Yes, indeed. Um, at the Nelson Mandela Foundation, uh, we have identified through Mandela Day and Outreach, uh, which is the program that I head up, um, that there are two major concerning um, issues that are of concern going into the future and, and in, as we speak um, presently um, is most definitely something that we have to worry about and that is climate change as well as um, the impact it has on food security. I'm sure uh, you have noticed that in recent times we've been dealing with, um, as South Africans, we've been dealing with um, the climatic anomalies all the way through from uh, snow in the midst of, of what was uh, by far the most um, uh, temperate winter that we've had in years, all the way through to a tornado in KwaZulu-Natal. And then a year prior to that, of course, the flooding in KwaZulu-Natal that led to the um, loss of life for 435 people, many more people losing everything in the process. So climate change is no longer a thing of uh, the distant future. It's no longer a thing that we discuss in air-conditioned boardrooms and, and hotels as, as, as a future threat. It's an immediate threat. Um, and one of the key things that we've realized as the Nelson Mandela Foundation is that it's no longer up to just um, government or business or civil society to deal with this. It's something that we have to deal with uh, at a community level. So as uh, Mandela Day and outreach um, here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation, we have been 
uh, capacitating community gardens across the country, whether it be home-based gardens or uh, community food gardens, planting trees, 60% of which are fruit trees, in an effort for communities to um, participate in making sure that we're de dealing with a climate crisis while simultaneously securing our food security. Um, and, and that's ultimately how the theme uh, for Mandela Day this year was, of course, uh, climate, food and solidarity because of the climate element, the food element, as well as solidarity with communities and working with communities. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the call to action was and is it is in your hands because ultimately it is in all of our hands yeah. uh, to make sure that, um, you know, we, we live up to those very words spoken by Nelson Mandela uh, in 2009. That is outstanding, Dashul, and it is in our hands. I absolutely agree. Um, the campaign was well received. Um, I, I know that the applications, they they closed like really fast because people were just keen for the whole campaign. Um, beyond the 80 people that are cycling, how can people be involved in, in Ride for Hope? Well, ultimately, I think it boils down to the support and, you know, Right for Hope is a beautiful opportunity in that it raises um, part of the money raised, goes back to the Nelson Mandela Foundation and covers the work not only of Mandela Day, but of the other departments that uh, we have here. As you know, the uh, Nelson Mandela Foundation is also the home to the archive for Mandela. And I think that for me, um, if, if there's any place that has ever shown me the value of an archive, it's where we are here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation, uh, from letters that he had written while he was imprisoned, all the way through to gifts that he had received while he was a statesman um, mm -hmm. from, from other heads of state, from other people of high um, status. Um, yeah. All of that is kept here, and so we have this history of Madiba. So some of those proceeds go towards um, uh, ensuring that we're able to, um, uh, to support that. Um, we have a, a wonderful advocacy and dialogue team. Um, we're always reminded that as the Nelson Mandela Foundation, we work dialogically, which means that the work that we do should actually encourage society to dialogue and, and not dialogue and just speak, but with meaning um, about the, 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 the issues that are facing us. So even the work that I do um, with my team around climate as well as food security, we need to have conversations about this and make uh, a meaningful change. Yeah. So um, all of that goes towards that. But apart from that, also, I think it's also for participation in the rest of the programs that we have. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, one of the key ways is also for people to uh, there was a beautiful jersey that was unveiled on the 1st of July, which was the launch of um, uh, the, the Mandela, uh, the Mandela month campaign. Um, so if people would like, um, I'm not much of a cyclist myself, but for those of you that would, um, they do take to two wheels. Um, it's a standing jersey. Um, I have one and, um, uh, you know, maybe I should just get a bicycle now. Um, <laughs> and, you know, uh, that, that in itself supports the initiative yeah. and um, quite, quite a substantial amount also comes back to the Nelson Mandela Foundation. So I think there's a couple of ways in which uh, this can be supported. Okay, that's awesome. I also find ways to support. And lastly, um, how can people follow the ride? Like, is there like a hashtag? On social media is it going to be like broadcasted somehow uh, on the socials well um it is um, i think the best way to follow is to uh, look at the ride for hope website number one and all the social media attached there too as well as um of course uh, www.nelsonmandela.org there will also be updates there and last but not least www.mandela.org uh, dot com. We will also provide updates there. And then uh, please do also look at the Nelson Mandela Foundation's official um, um, uh, social media handles. Uh, that would be on uh, Facebook, Twitter, as well as on Instagram. Uh, all of that would be there. The official hashtag, I'm not aware of at this stage, um, but um, I'm, I'm sure that all of those um, uh, formalized means of communications would have it. And of course, it's a four day period. Um, quite a long distance would be traveled. So I think part of it would be definitely covered, uh, including the takeoff at Walakazi Street uh, on the 20th of September, if I'm not mistaken. And then, of course, the arrival at Howard. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Kashul. We appreciate you giving up your time here at Social TV and all the best for the campaign.